Hello everyone, Dan Hurt with Dan Hurt Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn a subscription today. I am back with the icon and a couple of friends. Well, a friend, my friend Steve here. And of course my dad's over there. We, Steve has brought a whole bunch of what we hope is very high grade gold ore from his adit. We're not gonna tell you where, of course. And uh, uh, he's in the Monashi. In the Monashi. That's a very general area. There, there we go. In the Monashi. And uh, we're going to run it through the icon today and see if the icon will do a better job of capturing the fine, fine gold that's in it than the methods he's been using before. We're hoping. We don't know. But it's all a big adventure. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, hope you enjoy. All right, so here's the material he's got. It's gone through a primary crusher already, taking it down to mm, a quarter inch, half inch. Um, obviously, we'll have to crush that more before the icon can do anything with it. He does have a few buckets full of already crushed stuff that's gone through a hammer mill and taken down to, oh, I'm guessing that's... 20 mesh minus even yeah, even minus, smaller it's minus 20 minus 20 to minus 40 minus 20 to minus 40 so the icon will be able to just chew through that no problem and it looks to be mostly quartz so not many sulfides in it that makes it even easier for the icon to deal with yeah the gold at this site is uh free milling primarily primary free, free mill yeah, nice there is some uh, trapped in the uh, sulfides okay we had the icon up and running this morning and ran a couple of loads through it, uh, so it's all ready to go. If you didn't see those videos, they would have come out, you know, last week, the week before, something like that. Uh, a load from the blue chip and a load from Olala, but oh. this stuff should have the good gold in it. Oh yeah, blue chip didn't have much. Well, <laughs> hopefully we get lots of good visible stuff. We've got lots of material. It should be good. So Steve, I joked that it was high grade gold ore that we have here. What kind of values are we looking at? Uh, average, like if you take all of the quartz, it'll average between 0.45 to 0.65 of an ounce per ton. Okay, uh, about a half ounce per ton. Yeah, so that's what was traditionally run when they had the, the stamp mill up there in, in the early 40s. Okay, and, and what are you hoping to find in here if uh, after well, we've this, recovered? This, uh, from our testing, we know the gold is anywhere from uh, minus 20. There's been a few plus 20 pieces. And uh, it's as fine as probably 200 mesh. Whew. Judging from the uh, micro photographs we've done of a, under a microscope. Okay, well the icon's supposed to be able to handle that, so let's see what it does. And the beauty of the uh, hammer mills are that it shatters the pyrites yep but the gold shows up as micro bb's perfect at least perfect. on our hammer mills because it's, it's for some reason rather the uh, rounded them and down beat them into yeah, balls the two hammer one does that i don't know what your four hammer one will do but we'll have a look once we get some concentrate made and take it back to the lab <laughs> okay we're all ready to fire up so let's do it it's all hey, washed bye. out now, before we run any of it, I want to just do one pan worth here. Or, well, that's one scoop, not even one pan worth. I just want to see what it looks like when it's concentrated down in the pan. Just get an idea of what we're sort of expecting to see in a larger scale when the icon is dealt with it. Is that solid quartz? Isn't it? It, yeah, a lot of quartz it, here. It is, it's a quartz bean. Yeah, that's things in. and it has uh, there's a lot of green copper staining as well. Mm -hmm. The original uh, assays shown in MinFile um, are the, the quantity run. They did 1,500 tons, yeah. and they got 385 ounces of gold. Or something like that. I don't have the numbers handy. No. Yeah, yeah 50,000 ounces of silver. Yeah. And pounds, pounds of copper, pounds of zinc, and pounds of lead. Okay, so in that I see, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six little specks of gold. Oh, maybe even a bit more up there. So there is gold in there. They're very, very tiny. Oh, yeah. 200 mesh. Yeah, they are tiny, but very little in the way of sulfides in here. 
Yeah, you're right. Just just yeah. tiny specks of gold. Yeah, that look, should run easily. You look at this quartz uh, <coughs> at the site, and it just looks white. Well, do I want to spend the money to assay it or not? But the it's, history is it's free milling, and they actually had a mercury circuit, uh, copper or mercury coated copper plates. Yep, it was the first circuit after the stamp mill. It was a four stamp mill that uh, powdered it, went across the mercury plates, and uh, whoever had that job scraping those off. <laughs> when was that? Like 1940, 1938 40s. to 1942. Uh, back then they played with mercury in their hands. Oh, yeah. Right, Dad? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a, not a healthy thing. So we wanted to um, just do gravity separation without chemical and certainly not deal with mercury and Definitely. and all that kind of thing. So. Definitely. And I've heard of the icon, and plus your videos and stuff like that. So they collect a lot of fine uh, gold in Africa and Burkina Faso, places like that. And it's been very successful, and they've gotten away from mercury technology. Yep. Which is a lot healthier for the workers. For everyone. <laughs> for the world. For the world, yes. The icon is definitely a star for that. So we have it all set up. See what this that stuff was, has. That was, that was, so we put a, another pan underneath. I'm panning into a pan because Steve wants to take all of the cons home so we can look at all under the microscope and see what's in there. But we want to see the gold. We want to see what three buckets held for three mil gold. Now this gold is so unbelievably fine that I'm probably losing some in my panning. And that's why you want those yeah. to keep it all. Because down to two and three hundred mesh, you're not going to keep it all when you're panning. Not for a quick pan like this. Especially since I'm not using the pan I like. I didn't bring any of my garrets with me today. In the back of my truck. Somehow a rock got through.
Go around and take a real close up of this as I'm panning it out so you can sort of see the sulfides as they wash out. You can go in nice and close there. There we go. Oh, Another big rock big came through. Maybe from our shutdown, the first one. <laughs> the big rock? Yeah. Now I'd say that was in your crush somehow. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Because we were letting everything that we put in go through, mm -hmm. so we weren't screening it anyway, so the crush must have had a couple of bigger pieces. You know, it f fell in the bucket accidentally when you were loading or something. Well, I can tell already that that's a uh, far more impressive concentration than we ever were able to uh, obtain. Using and why are you saying that? Because the, the amount of sulfides we're getting? Yes. Slimy. A few bigger pieces of gold. Now there it is. See, oh, yeah. see the yellow line there behind the black line. Yep. That's the like, and that's got to be three to four hundred mesh gold coming out of there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we wanted to see. We want to know what size. Is there a whole bunch of it? Yeah, there was a whole line of it right yeah. behind the. Now, yeah, and that was fine enough that I probably lost three quarters of it panning here. Panning, yeah. yeah, because there, there's no way you could pan that fine of gold and get it all. We knew there had to be some kind of secondary treatment to get the gold that fine, but we wanted a machine that could at least create a concentrate that was uh, like catching everything, not yeah. having it distributed throughout the whole circuit. Yeah. Now you had a lot of iron in there for some reason. Part particles of There's mag magnetite. No, like we got um, some shot, some lead shot, or some steel shot, some pieces of wire. Well, I have no explanation for that. But there's a lot of gold there. We wash. Oh, that's that might be welding beads from uh, the uh, jaw crusher and, ah, and ah, the, uh, yes. the other hammer mill. <laughs> yep, yep. That's because we that's rinsed this out just before you got here. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a whole line. Can the camera get that? whole line of gold all the way around. Yeah, there is. That's actually quite a considerable line. Yeah. I don't want to touch it because some will stick with my finger. And all really fine. Because this has gone through probably three different attempts to get the bigger pieces out. Oh, this has been processed, this oh, stuff already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is what we were missing. I, I was actually disappointed here <laughs> until you said that. Oh no, we have some, we had some pieces that were 20 mesh. Okay, so this, Plus all the big gold. stuff has gone through, and this is just yeah. what you missed the first time. Well, after three or different three attempts. Three different attempts. Three different circuits. Okay, so now, so, now I'm feeling better about yeah, what I yeah. see here. So we're collecting the super, super oh, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. And that's uh -huh. what I wanted to see. The machine will do that, and then it's yeah. not being. Did you have, have a look there? <laughs> just at the top edge, right yeah. up against the edge. The, And like you say, there's probably more in the sulfides yet, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's there's no way you can so separate that by hand like this. So now we see why, when they had their stamp mill, the first circuit was mercury-coated Mercury, because mercury, mercury would grab that instantly, oh, yep. Yeah, because yeah, it's very clean. There's, mm -hmm. there's very little sulfides. Now, there is a magnetic component uh, that comes out. We, we had um, mag plates. Right. And uh, that material, just the magnetics alone, will run 2.38 ounces to the ton. <laughs> Either that's free gold or it's somehow in the magnetite itself. We haven't gone any further, but obviously you save the magnetics for further processing. If you if you actually went and counted the particles here, there would be thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, in this pan right now, because they're so small. It's like like the um, from my old hometown Edmonton, the Saskatchewan River Placer Miners Group. That's what they're dealing with: 200 to 400 mesh stuff. There's a fellow down there. He he gets recreational. Two, oh yeah, they're recreational guys. He gets uh, two to three ounces uh, every summer. I'll take this. Five or 
90, he's probably 90 now. Yeah. I did speak to him. What uh, what equipment are they allowed on Saskatchewan? They were using the... Um, um, so this is what I panned out, just the cons here, but we're keeping all of that because I panned it so quick and the cons are, or the gold is so fine, I probably lost more gold than I actually kept. So we're going to take those cons back and we're going to look at them under the microscope and see what's in them and then decide if we're going to actually, you know, if you want to take the gold out of, out of there. But this is a, I assume more of an informational session yeah. than a recovery session yeah. so I often have people comment to my videos about how how it's a waste of time to spend you know that much time that much gas to recover 0.1 of a gram of gold <laughs> but I think they just don't understand that These it's the test runs. it's the information we need it's not the gold we need it's yeah. the info we are doing this to decide where to go in the future now on to round two. This is the raw stuff right from the mine. Just been run through one jaw crusher, and we have to we have to crush her down with the proper crushers this time to recover the gold. Now something I wasn't aware for that first load, they had run that material three separate times to remove the gold. So the gold that we found is the stuff that three separate uh, machines missed. Now this here is raw from the mine. We're gonna see everything in this. Steve just wanted to know what the methods that he was using earlier, what they missed, and... Well, we, we knew we were missing it, and we were hoping this icon would do the proper concentration in one run. So unfortunately I didn't get cleaning this out on video because we had uh, our next guest show up. But um, this was one bucket. We only got through one bucket of material. And look at that gold. Yeah, and the buckets are were weighed when they were dry, were 45 pounds each. 45 pounds? And that's out of 45 pounds. So that's got to be, what, about, you know, 50 ounces per ton there? Let's go with that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 50 so ounces old. per ton. Why do you sound like that uh, Jeremy Davis? <laughs> but you can see, there's, I just pushed some up there. It's still all through everywhere. Yeah. There's amazing amounts yeah, of gold like that here. that is probably a smelting project there. Oh, for sure. You get the cord well, you Getting, leave the quartz. Yeah, oh, it's it the flux. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So, Steve, what do you think of the icon? 100%. It's getting what you want? If I could get it that 10,000 tons, I'd be ordering one. <laughs> there we go, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, we are all very happy with what the icon can do. It's amazing. Unfortunately, our crusher was giving us grief today, so we, didn't, we only got through one bucket, one of the three, and we have to go figure out what's wrong with that crusher and deal with it. But the icon, oh yeah, it was doing the job. Yep. Fine goal recovery supreme. For sure, for sure. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. It was a bit of a shorter one because, well, we, we had to shut down early. Uh, please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Please leave a comment. And if you're interested in what I do, I have far more material on social media like Instagram and Facebook. Go check it out. Just search for Dan Hurd Prospecting. So until the next one, everyone, bye. Whoa! <laughs>